work has come to a halt for many in Beirut. But for fashion designer Tony Ward, who specializes in couture gowns, business is slowly picking up in a different way. We first made these masks for our own employees. They can be worn in a very simple way and also washed. His garment factory is shifting from its usual production lines to helping local hospitals by making masks, bodysuits and bedsheets. They put me in contact with the director of Rafiq Hariri Hospital and he told me that they have a big shortage of bed sheets because they're preparing a new department. We decided to buy fabric, involve our staff and work together to make bed sheets. As Lebanon's doctors and nurses work on the front lines to contain COVID-19, private and public hospitals are feeling the strain. There's not enough money and medical supplies, items that are normally imported. It's prompted other businesses, like this plant that usually makes dental floss and diapers, to step in to design ventilators. Maybe after this outbreak, we will learn a big lesson. All Lebanese can have an impact on their future, present and their reality not always depend on what's coming from the outside and ask for help. Lebanon is already facing an economic and financial crisis. According to Human Rights Watch, the government has not given any money this year to the publicly funded Rafiq Hariri Hospital in Beirut, where most cases are being treated, and it only gave 40% of its dues last year. While infections increase, those running businesses like this hope their input can help prepare Lebanon for what may come. Rahila Mohammed, Al Jazeera.